Well, it's almost summertime here and that means it's going to get very, very hot, especially if you're living in a van. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you five easy tips to help you stay cool while living in your van. Let's get into it. So when deciding on a van, one thing that is very, very important is the color of the vehicle. My 2005 Honda Element is this beautiful cargo khaki color and that's a great thing because it's not gonna keep so much heat on the inside. Where as opposed to that black car over there, it's gonna be very, very hot when you compare it to something like this here. If you can choose a vehicle that is white or tan or light colored, that's gonna be your best option for living inside of your vehicle or van. Colors to avoid are darker colors such as blue, black, or anything in that realm. So here I have this infrared thermometer and what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna take the temperature of the paint on my vehicle and we're gonna compare it to the khaki color and the black color. So here we go for the khaki. This is 93 degrees Fahrenheit. And if we move over to the black car, we'll take the temperature 102 degrees Fahrenheit. So yes, that's not the temperature on the inside, but as you can tell, that's about a seven, almost 10 degree difference between the two vehicles. So make sure you pick the right color when picking a van. One of my favorite ways to stay cool in the summer is to head over towards the beach. Another option if you don't have a beach near you is to head higher up into the altitude in the mountains. But basically these areas are gonna be a little bit cooler in the temperature and if you're living in a vehicle, I mean, why not? Go ahead and hit the road, find a space that you love, whether it's the mountains or the ocean, and you're gonna be a lot more comfortable there, I guarantee it. Pretty much the whole summer I spend at the beach because otherwise inland, even if it's only 10 or 15 miles, it becomes very, very uncomfortable and the temperature rises about 10 to 15 degrees depending on the days. So find a beach, find a mountain spot that you like and park it there and stay there. So another pro tip is to drink cold water. And what I do is I simply walk into a Starbucks, ask for a big cup of ice, and then I have this water bottle, which is insulated, and it'll keep the ice cold pretty much all day. And by simply drinking cold water, it's actually gonna bring your core body temperature down and it's gonna keep you a lot cooler than most of the other methods we've talked about earlier. Pro tip, drink cold water. Now, one of the easiest things you can do to stay cool while living inside of your van or vehicle is you can simply park Park in the shade. So as you can see here, I'm parked in this beautiful park and there's plenty of shade underneath these trees. And there's a huge difference between parking in the sun and parking in the shade. I would venture to say it's around a 10 degree difference parking in the shade versus in the sun. Another very effective and easy to do tip is to buy some Reflectix tape here. So you can find this at any Home Depot or in the links down below from Amazon. It's about 20 to $30 a roll. And basically what this does is that it reflects the heat from the sun back out. So it keeps the vehicle nice and cool. And in addition to that, it also gives you the added benefit of adding privacy. So you can not see anything on the inside of the vehicle where you, if you go over here onto this side of the vehicle where it's a window, you can see right through it. So adding some Reflectix tape is really gonna change the game if you're living inside of your vehicle. Now lastly, buy a portable fan. These fans can be bought on Amazon. They're super cheap, super small, and super effective. These fans can be powered by just batteries or if you have the ability to hook it up to like a Jackery or a Gull Yeti that can power it, that's another great option. But it really makes a huge difference and you can also use them at night, which is great. And what's really cool about the Honda Element is that you have these like little vents here on the outside and up top. So when you combine that with the van, it creates this really nice airflow and it's really comfortable even when it's very hot at night. So make sure you get yourself a nice fan. I'll leave some links down below in the description of the ones that I use. So this little gadget I have here is my ARB awning. And basically when I pull this out, it provides a lot of shade. Um, Cause in an area like this, this parking lot, there's really no trees or anything to block out that shade. So on those really, really hot days, I'll pull out the ARB awning. And if you're interested in something like this, I'll leave a link down below in the description for you. So that is all for today's video. Make sure you stay cool this summer. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.